Okay, so this video is going to cover how to properly put in a evaluation or an eval note into the HCNet system. So once you log into your HCNet, you'll come to a home screen similar to this. Uh, yours will just look slightly different as this is the administrative side. What you'll do is you'll come up here to this Visits tab, and then in the drop-down menu, you will select Visits. Let's say the patient's name that we are writing the evaluation about. Uh, their last name is Smith, so I'll go ahead and type that in here. And then let's say this is uh, my patient, John Smith. Uh, before you put in this evaluation note, you will have had to add goals, and uh, that can be found under the assessments, orders, goals, and DC plans. So if that sounds unfamiliar to you, uh, please reference the adding goals video. So once you have your goals in there, you're going to come over here to actual visit, insert new note. Since this is your first time seeing the patient, you'll click on this. And then what you'll get is a screen similar to this. Uh, now, if you're writing the note on the same day, uh, the date will come up here. But if you happen to be writing the date or your note on a different day uh, than the current day, you will need to select a different date, obviously. So let's just say we saw this patient from 9 a.m. until 10 a.m. And then underneath visit code, you're going to need to select eval. And then you'll scroll down here. And this section in regards to wound vac, you'll go ahead and sele select no vac applied since we're therapists and we aren't dealing with the wound vac. We'll go ahead and skip by this status section here. And then we'll click on this little checkbox here. And I always write in temp not taken because you aren't going to be taking uh, the patient's temperature. And then this is basically where you put in your vitals. So we'll put in uh, kind of some vitals here as if we had taken them with the patient. So you'll need to put in blood pressure, SpO2, and a pulse. And then also respiration rate. And then you'll come down to this next section in regards to supplies. Once again, you'll kind of leave this as is since we aren't going to be filling out uh, the supply section. And then you'll come down to this medical necessity and homebound review section. So we have these three phrases, patient is still homebound because patient diagnosis, and then home visit address diagnosis in the following way, and patient required medical attention because. So these three phrases are going to need to stay in this section, but this is basically where you can write your narrative. Um, so you're going to write why the patient is still homebound, and then you'll put in the patient diagnosis. Uh, that's going to need to be the exact same that you see in your Foreman app. And then basically you're going to write your eval underneath here. Uh, you'll put in your subjective, objective, assessment, and plan. So it depends on how you do things. Some people take notes by hand. Some people use a device when they're with the patient. I personally use an iPad and have my own template that I fill out when I'm seeing the patient and then just kind of copy and paste uh, that narrative into this section. Uh, but basically you can do it however you want. Uh, you're just going to want to be specific and include everything that you did with the patient. So once you type that in there, you'll scroll back up to the top of the page and you'll hit insert visit. Now, it's saying this here because this actually isn't a real patient, uh, but when you pull yours up, uh, after you hit insert visit, it should say the visit was successfully inserted, and then this insert button will actually change to say update visit. So once you have that done, you're gonna go ahead and click assessment, and this is basically just a bunch of check boxes. So you're gonna uh, click this check box here, and then since this is an eval, I would check that one. And then let's say I did some static and dynamic sitting balance, as well as some static and dynamic standing balance. And then let's say I did the Tenetti with this patient, and they scored in this range. So basically what you're going to do here is go through and just check the boxes uh, that make sense to you, how your patient presents. Now I'm a physical therapist, so I'm seeing these boxes here. But if you're a speech or occupational therapist, you may be seeing some different boxes. But like I said, you're just going to go through here, read them carefully, especially if you're just getting started with these notes, and check the boxes um, that you feel are necessary. Now, as you can see, uh, for example, here in this gait training section, none of these boxes are selected. So you will have to select at least one box in each section, even if that is other and some of these boxes will have like an NA or whatnot, but you will have to select at least one checkbox in each section.
So you're going to continue to scroll down here. And finally, uh, we'll get through that assessment portion and get to a baseline. Now when you're filling out your note, it should have a spot for frequency. So that's where you're going to want to put in your fre frequency, whether that be 2W4, 3W2, 5W2, you'll put that in there and then you'll put effective and then whatever date um, that you want that frequency to go into effect. And then underneath this baseline category, you're going to have uh, some other check boxes that you'll have to check. So let's say for ambulation, my patient required a two-handed device. Um, and then they were able to bathe with some devices, but they were able to dress themselves independently. And they were able to get to the toilet independently and then also transfer independently. And then underneath this section, you'll need to check this box as well as acknowledging that every 30 days a qualified therapist must come out and then check the box appropriate here and then you'll need to check you know kind of the things that or the tests that you did with the patient and then you'll finally get to the short and long-term goals so once again you'll need to check these boxes and then just like it says here one single date for all goals is not sufficient so let's just say uh, I'm putting in a gold goal here so I'll write this goal Patient will independently describe and demonstrate PT home exercise program times 15 reps by, let's say, 6.23.17. So I'll put that there, and then maybe I'll copy that goal. And then instead of 15 reps, maybe I want them to do 20 reps for a long-term goal. And then let's set that for maybe a month later than that. And what you're going to want to do here, I always try to put at least three short-term and three long-term goals. And then you're going to have to put a, a date for each of those goals as well. And then we're going to skip over this re-evaluation section for now, since this is an evaluation note. And then you'll get down to your orders and goals uh, that you put in uh, when you added goals. So once again, you're going to need to check the boxes um, appropriate here, whether or not the patient met those goals or not. Um, so you go, th go through here, and like I said, check uh, the boxes that are appropriate, whatever you completed, and if the patient met or did not meet the goal, and then you're towards the end of the note here. So what you're going to do is go ahead and click back on this note tab, which will take you back up to the top where you first started, and you can go ahead and kind of click through the tabs if you want to make sure everything's filled out to your liking, and then you'll go back to the beginning here. And you'll go ahead and scroll back down to the section that we originally skipped over and you'll hit note is complete and then you'll just scroll back up and like i said this tab will now say update visit you'll go ahead and click that it'll most likely say this visit has been successfully updated if you left one of those check boxes blank or didn't put in something that you needed it will notify you with a with a red message and tell you what uh, isn't complete yet and then to double check you can go back underneath visits here click clinician and patient search, go back to your home page, and you should see if the note is complete or not. So that note didn't go through because like I said, it wouldn't let me enter it. But this note here, which is a missed visit note is complete. Whereas this evaluation is incomplete, which is notifying you with the INC uh, in the red letters there. So uh, that you're notified that that note is not complete. So that's how you enter a evaluation into the HCNET system. Okay, thanks.